Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, your host, and joining me in the studio today is Umar Micah, president of Poison Ivy Horticulturist Incorporated. Umar, welcome to the show. How are you today? Hi, Fran. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, so my great to, pleasure. To be with you. This yeah, today. I, I know I'm kind of mm. pulling you away from a very busy season. Poison yes. ivy, it is in the garden, right? Yes, it's in the garden. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a challenge for people. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. challenge, and we try to help them to meet their to meet that challenge mm -hmm. uh, right there in the ground on the in their yards. Right there. Okay. And in fact, your website sort of says speaks to the pain that people have, doesn't it? You know, in terms of the name of your website. Yes, it does. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want poisonivy.com. <laughs> Pretty and, darn clear. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Well, poison ivy is literally a touchy subject that makes people feel kind of itchy. So, why you? Why poison ivy? What's your significant story that kind of got you into what you do? Um, it's a um, a native plant mm -hmm. which affects people and it hurts them. Mm it's very difficult for them to identify the plant. So as a horticulturalist, I'm trying on a few levels to make it more easy to identify so they don't touch it, they don't get hurt by it, and they can spend that time that they would have spent suffering, they can spend that with their family or doing activities during the summer. Wow. That's really my focus. Okay. So given that focus, what, understanding that you're really all about helping people, why did you get into it? I mean, what, was there something, did you have a bad experience with poison ivy? Um, you know, was there something in your research as a horticulturist that made you say, I have got to address this problem right now, and I'm going to be the poison ivy guy? Well, it's, I always had an interest in plants ever since I was a young boy. And when I found out that there was such a plant as poison ivy, uh, I wanted to learn about it and I wanted to understand it. And even at a young age, I could tell that the information that was out there for people wasn't giving, wasn't sufficient to protect them. Because the pictures that were presented in books weren't the same as what I saw when I looked out in the yard or in the wood, woodland edge. So I started to study it and it, it just, it held my attention. Mm, held your attention. So what were some of the sources that you used? Uh, we were talking before the show got started about reference material that you and the industry often use. Well, there's a, uh, in, in, in American folklore, there's a saying that says, leaves of three, let them be. Mm -hmm. And in doing some research, I found that that saying came from an elementary school reader from mm -hmm. Washington, D.C. that was written in 1911. And that small story in an elementary school reader has really gotten into the culture mm -hmm. and is the main backbone of what people look for when they're looking for poison ivy or trying to understand it. So trying to build on that phrase, which everybody knows, mm -hmm. uh, we have m tried to make a few updates. Okay. So what are some of those updates? Because I know that you bring humor and color into the whole awareness campaign. Can you share with the audience what um, you have? Yes. Well, for the professional, uh, we have a, uh, a Poison Ivy conference. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's in the early spring each year. Uh, this is the uh, uh, program from our uh, 2016 conference. Um, we have uh, professors from uh, different universities. We have uh, business people, and we also have uh, poison ivy contractors come by. Mm -hmm. And we share information and, and, and just bring the professional level uh, um, along. And then for uh, trying to enter into the folk uh, <laughs> culture of it, uh, we have a online, um, an online uh, uh, co episodal comic. Mm -hmm. So 
each Monday there's a new episode published. There's se about 73 episodes published now. We're going to end at about 100 episodes. Congratulations. And thank you. Yeah. It's called uh, The Partners Five, and it's about a, um, a crew of uh, horticulturalists who encounter a poison ivy who's kind of uh, become a, almost like a person is, is, is cognizant and is trying to really take this city over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, Marvel, yeah. watch out. Okay. <laughs> I love it. The partner's yeah. five. Yes. So, and yeah. does the saying leaves of three, let them be, does that weave into uh, the partner's five story? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, it does. Um, on my business card, uh, there's a cartoon. I try to use a cartoon. And the news, the saying that I use is leaflets three resemble me. Mm. So people say poison ivy have three leaves, but everything has three leaves. Mm -hmm. So I made a little stick cartoon which shows that, like us, poison ivy has a head, mm -hmm. a head leaf, mm -hmm. and that head is connected to a neck onto the torso. And then the two arms, the two side leaves, are connected right onto the torso like our arms are connected mm -hmm. to us. Wow. So I'm, try I'm giving people a, um, uh, they can compare it to their own body. Mm -hmm and look at that leaf and say, okay, does it have a head? Does it have a neck? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's an update that we, and it seems to be pretty successful. Okay, yeah. great. Now, every once in a while, people are going to encounter poison ivy. Um, and of course, they should contact you. Um, but you have brought with you some items that people can use if they want to work in their garden and um, not be impacted by poison ivy. What are those and why do you have them? Okay, mm -hmm. so the first thing is I recommend gardening in long sleeves mm -hmm. and long pants. Okay. So that there is an exposed skin, mm -hmm. especially when you're getting started early in the season, right in the spring, or around this time of year in uh, June and into July when the poison ivy seedlings, uh, for when the, the seeds that were dropped last winter, they're starting to grow. Okay. So once those are plucked out of the garden, then you're more safe to work but it's always good to be prepared to not have exposed skin. Mm -hmm. So to not have exposed skin, I'm suggesting an underglove. Okay, and hold that up to the camera. So it looks pretty thin. It's pretty thin. Right. This is mm -hmm. just an under protection. Mm -hmm. You can use, this is a cotton glove. You can also use a nitrile exam glove. And then I'm using a Tyvek sleeve, not a Tyvek suit. Uh, and this is a sleeve that just goes up to the wrist. It has um, elastic on the wrist and on the elbow. Mm -hmm. And then a gardening glove over top. Any, it doesn't have to be this material, but it has to be this protection. Mm -hmm. So if somebody had an old um, uh, turtleneck or that they wanted to wear over a shirt, which is open, mm -hmm. and then a glove over it, that, that's sufficient. Just okay. saying, protect protect yourself. Like, don't go gardening like this. <laughs> it's a problematic. Go right. gardening like this. Wow. Then you'll be safe. That's terrific. That's terrific. So you've shared a significant story. Um, tell us about some of the results that you're really proud of. Because you do uh, great work, and you've been doing you. it for a while. Yes, yeah. we're, we're into our ninth season now okay. as, as uh, commercial uh, poison ivy removers. And... Um, the uh, the Lower Marion um, uh, server, uh, Lower Marion um, Facebook page, uh, when when somebody brings in a picture and says, "What is this? Is this poison ivy?" Uh, m my clients tell me it lights up with, mm -hmm. "Oh, you need to go. You need to talk to it, this website. You need to go to this website. You need to talk to this contractor if you can't handle it, mm -hmm. because we have a good person in." and a good crew in the area to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm very pleased that we present a resource uh, that, and a fail-safe that people can use. So education is there for people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the product line is there, or just go in your drawer and pour, pull something out. We're not trying to sell somebody everything every day. Mm -hmm. but, and then if you, but you can't handle it, then come and we'll help you out. How can they find out about you? Where should um, they go? Uh, uh, going on a, uh, a Google or a Google search and 
uh, Poison Ivy in Philadelphia will bring, uh, bring our name up. Mm -hmm. Or our website, I don't want poison ivy.com. It's a great website yeah. name. <laughs> and that'll, that, you know, uh, or, or uh, Umar Micah mm -hmm. will take you to, the, take you to mm -hmm. the information. Now, you feel pretty comfortable in that, so it's yeah. not too sweaty or no. it, yeah. it's worth okay. We have, um, over, the, over our eight or nine years, we have really um, uh, taken, it, taken it to the least amount that's that will give you protection. Mm -hmm. So we started out wearing the big white tie. I remember suit. when I first yeah. met you, right. You almost looked like a beekeeper. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With the big outfit. Yeah. Right. But we found it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. And it's too it's too hot. You know That's what I wondered. Um, That's what I wondered. The one thing that I would like to to, to say is that a poison ivy is n known commonly as a small plant. It's like a small vine or a few leaves. But it can be anywhere from a uh, one or two ounces up to a 500 pound plant, which is over 40 years old. Where might someone see that kind of plant? You know, you can <laughs> see it in your own backyard. Wow, people that's buy scary. homes. Yeah, people buy homes. Uh, we did a job in Yaden uh, two weeks ago where uh, a, a young a family came in and there was a five inch vine of poison ivy growing in their yard. And the, the neighbor next door had just kept it tamped down, but the new owner said, look, I want this, want this out of here. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, a small vine can get, a vine can go from a seedling to nine inches the first year, and then the second year to 22 feet. So it, can, it grows quickly. It's, its nature is to grow quickly. So yeah. it's good to check your yard uh, once or twice a year and to just keep those plants out, then there's, there's a real level of safety. What's the biggest poison ivy that you've discovered? And once you discovered it, what did you do with it? Just sort of quickly in 30 seconds or so. What's that story? The, the largest one that I've dug and weighed uh, was for the first poison ivy conference. Mm -hmm. It was a 502 pound plant. It was wow. about 38 years old. And poison ivy plants are either male or female. They key either, mm. either the male flower or the female flower. Mm -hmm. This was a female plant. Mm -hmm. And that plant can produce uh, probably about 40,000 seeds a year. So that's, mm. uh, and one or two seeds in somebody, somebody's yard is a disaster. Wow. So it's good to, when we find those big old mature plants, it's good to get them out of a neighborhood because they can cause a lot of trouble in a neighborhood. Wow, you are doing great work. <laughs> I you, don't Fran. want poisonivy.com. <laughs> Umar, fascinating, fascinating. I love that you're passionate about what you do. Um, we have, you know, interacted over the years a number of times, and the comic series is really pretty cool. Can Thank you share you. with the audience again where people can find out about that and, and, and why they should tune in? Yes, uh, the comic strip is called The Partners 5, number 5, mm -hmm. uh, and so there's a website, thepartners5.com, and it's also available on Facebook, The Partners 5. Um, it is a uh, combination where uh, horticulture meets high adventure. Ooh, <laughs> lead with that. Lead with that next time. That is wonderful. Horticulture meets high adventure. High adventure. You know what? Significant TV and significant stories by significant entrepreneurs is really all about folks like Umar Micah. You can find him on the web at I don't want poison ivy.com. And I really urge you to check out the information that he provides. And for the younger folks as well as the older folks, he is already up to episode 76 yes. of 100 with thepartners5.com. Umar, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. I know this is your busy season, so I appreciate you taking some time out, crawling out from the <laughs> ivy um, to be <laughs> among us. So thank you. Thank you, Fran. Thanks very much. Always a pleasure to, to interact with you. Thank you. So folks, there you have it, Significant TV. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and join us for the next episode.